Okay, guys, uh, I think we got it straight. We were trying to do a sideways, um, or whatever you call it, landscape video, and it just didn't want to work. So, and now we have, I think we got it right. I'm going to see if we can get some more people to relog on. That's two times we messed up. And, of course, we have super slow Wi-Fi here. And, um... They're trying to get it so I can see the questions, if we get any questions. Okay, I think we're ready. And I'll turn my sound down a little bit here. All right, there we go. So, anyway, guys, welcome. It's a Saturday night here, I think, right? Every day is the same yeah, to us, every so. Day the same. Um, we just want to do a, a quick live um, live feed, uh, talk about uh, how things are going with the rescue, and um, introduce you to a few of the um, dogs that have come here recently. Um, things have been going pretty good through the COVID. Um, donations are a little down, but that's normal uh, uh, this time of year and uh, with everybody you know, having their difficult times. We've had a increased number of requests for uh, taking in dog, um, but we have to let people know, um, you know, we can only take in so many. Right now we are at um, 30, 33. 33, which is how many small? 21 small. We have, yeah, 21 small and what we consider small, and then we have 12 of the big guys, some in the out in the big dog haven and um, uh, some in the back room. Um, the small ones live in the house, right. in the living room, dining room, kitchen. Wherever they want to live yeah. or in our bedroom. Bigger so, ones are out in the big dog house yeah. or in the back room. Yeah. So anyway, uh, we wanted to talk about, we took in eight small dogs in the last, what, three weeks, two yeah. weeks? Um, the first group came uh, from a uh, individual who had passed away. Uh, the dogs kind of got handed down to parents or son, that kind of thing. And um, they just didn't have any, uh, they didn't want to keep them, basically, the, the sons. So we, we took them in. Two were terror mixes you've probably seen online. Uh, Lizzie and uh, Lebo, Crazy Lebo, and also Blizzard, the wild uh maltese mix uh, we call him the attack dog because you never know when he's going to try to <laughs> take, take but he can be sweet and he's like we call him the chinese dog chinese foods he's sweet and sour and also the barney big barney um is with us um he's in the other room right now barney's uh going to be going into surgery uh 28th i think yeah. he has an extremely large mass on his right shoulder um, that doc's going to try to do her best uh, to remove and also um, his teeth are rancid I mean he's oh they're so bad he's been on antibiotics he just finished up his course of antibiotics so some of the smell is gone but it's the teeth are really bad so um, that's upcoming also blizzard the little Maltese I told you about he has actually a cyst or a um, uh, possibly a tumor in between his eyes it's it's kind of weird and um he um we're gonna see what the doc can do about that and um maybe hopefully it's not too bad this it is small um but it has bled a little bit and um so we're we're gonna have the doc take another look at that and see what we can do um oh tina wants to know where we're located tina we're located in Melrose, uh, Florida, which is about an hour southwest southwest of um, Jacksonville. Your sister's on. Hey, my sister's on. Hey. <laughs> hey sis. Hi. Um. Anyway, um, moving on. Um, and then last week we took in four. Uh, Chihuahua mixes, um, 
one's I think a Chihuahua, maybe Rat Terrier mix. They were owner surrendered uh, at Bradford County Animal uh, Control. It was actually uh, an elderly lady who was um, basically dying. She was put in the hospital. She had 16 dogs on her property. And the 16 dogs, uh, the family was able to get them. Uh, found homes for 12, and we took in four. Uh, there's, you may have saw the pictures earlier of um, uh, Dixie, Scarlet, uh, Butterfly, and Chester. They're cute little guys. Unfortunately, they're uh, very scared, very timid. Um, they stay in the kitchen most of the time, um, and they're come out. They, they're slowly starting to get used to where they're at um, and um, mingle with some of the other members. Exception, I would think of Butterfly. She's a little, she's very, very, very timid. Now she'll come to, to mom's here and crawl up in her lap, but she doesn't want much to do. You want to pick, we'll show you, take a look at um, Butterfly. Butterfly. She's very stiff, very shy. Um, there she is. This is Butterfly. Butterfly, we think, is maybe 12. Um, we're not sure. They didn't have any paperwork on them as far as age or anything like that. As you can notice, she's, you know, she stays very stiff. Um, you can see the look in her eyes. And... Um, um, Sometimes when we talk to her, she just yeah. look, she just she'll look up at yeah. you. She has that far away look. Um, that's very you know. Um, but she's very scared. But um, she is coming around. She has left the kitchen a few times and wandered out to see us. And sits up in my lap. And she'll come and get in Gail's lap and sit. And um. Tiny little thing. But she is tiny. So, but she is coming along. Um, she just has that, that far away look in her eyes. But, you know, we're working with her every day and she's getting a little bit better. And so the next one up is going to be whoever you can catch. Because <laughs> Dixie's going to run. Dixie will run. No, she lets you. There you go. What are you doing there, Sonny? Dixie, Dixie. So this is Dixie. She, when we first got Dixie, was the most outgoing of the four. And then she became the most timid again, almost. She rarely will leave the kitchen and is very scared of you. Um, you have to be really slow with her. But um, she's coming around. They're all healthy. Their nails are very long, but they were taking care of that. They've all had their shots. Um, their, uh, you know, their weight is good, um, but they're just, I don't know what condition they lived in, um, but they're slow to interact with people. So we understood from one person at Animal Control that they may have been just outside dogs the whole time. So they're just getting used to... Um, their new surroundings. Hi, Sylvia. So, hey, Sylvia. Hi. <laughs> so our, our English people. English heaven. So um, anyway, go back a minute. See, I have, I have notes because I can't remember anything. Um, the other one is so the other one is Scarlet, who's took a hike, taken a hike, and then we have. Um, is Lebo in here? Lebo. Yeah, grab Lebo. We'll show you Lebo. Lebo came from the first group. The, we had the Lebo, Lizzie, and Lizzie, Lebo's, we don't know if it's the, her sister, his sister, or mother, or his, we don't know. Uh, but uh, Lizzie is in a foster home right now, and this is the wild man, Lebo, and he has the white spike on top, and um, I constantly sing, uh, hey, Michelle. I'm uh, always singing, um, uh, what is this a song by, I can't think of it, anyway, called Leo from 
I'm a Boz Skaggs, so I've seen Lebo. Yeah. And so he's a sweet guy. He has a uh, an unusual habit uh, that he likes to um, how like a an Apache like or a cackle. Curly <laughs> Howard from the Three Stooges at four or five o'clock in the morning. It's just a yip 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 sound. And then he gets higher. Yeah, and it goes higher and higher. And he wakes everybody up. But then he goes back to sleep. He just wants to know that, you know, that's his alarm clock to get up. So anyway, he's doing very well. He's uh, uh, he is healthy. Um, he'll be up for adoption soon. His only issue with him is he would be much probably better as a uh, an only dog. He, um, I mean, he's not... He does not go after other dogs, but we just have, well, mainly it's just Blizzard. We have the little white Maltese who really is just uh, a Texas tornado sometimes. Hi, Gabriel. Hey, Gabe. And he, um, these two don't get along. Other than that, he gets along with the other dogs. He's pretty quiet, likes to stay to himself, stays, spends a lot of time in his bed, and uh, he'll come out and talk to you every once in a while. So, um, and that's, that is the Lebo man. And, um, anyway, while she's going to find somebody else to look at, I just want to go over a few things. We've had some people ask questions about our, um, our adoption process, um, our foster program. All of our, um, all of our stuff begins, so all of our dogs, uh, if they, if you're thinking of adopting, they're going to go to... A fo you through foster first. You have to foster the animal for a couple of weeks, a couple of months. There's no time frame, and when you feel comfortable and you're ready to adopt, then that's fine. Um, if not, um, you can either keep them longer or you can return return them. You know, we want the right dog in the right home, or and vice versa. But everything has to start with the foster. So we don't do flat out adoptions. We've had people say, "Hey, I want to come and adopt this dog." No, it doesn't. We don't do it that way. You fill out a form online, uh, our website, which is www.rollandrescuegang.com. It's on our Facebook page. Um, uh, there's, a, there's a spot that we can see all the dogs that are available. Um, you can also, it also has a foster form. We try to keep the fosters close within 150 miles because we have to come and visit. You know, we don't just give the dog away and say, oh, you know, good luck. Um, that's it. We want that we want to visit the home. We want to we'll bring the dog to you uh, for a meet and greet, and the dog will stay if everything works out. The home looks fine, and uh, all the paperwork looks good, and the dog can stay and go through a foster program. At whichever time you decide to adopt, we go for adoption. We also do the the, the forever foster. Which it's a program where you know if you know you basically help helping a dog out by giving it a home and we will pay take care of uh vet bills uh normal vetting um special foods if we need it dog food if you need it if you can provide dog food that's great if not then uh, we will provide the the dog we'll provide everything basically you're just giving the dog um you know a good home and some love so that Hopefully that'll clear things up. There's a long write-up write on our page about it. And sometimes it gets a little confusing. It needs to be uh, rewritten, I, I think. But, um, but that's just how we do it. It's, it's foster first. And then or if it, with adoption from that. So That being said, I, I did mention the website, um, www.rollandrescuegang.com. There is the page where the dogs are located. We have a program called the Senior Sponsor Program. Where if you can't volunteer, you can't adopt, you can't foster, and not everybody can, you can uh, choose a dog. Um, you can choose a dog, and you can do a monthly sponsorship from ten to twenty, up to fifty dollars a month. Um, and what that does is that, and we put that on the website. Who ha who sponsors the animals? Those, um, like Chester, those guys. Um, and that helps with everything that helps with you know, the vetting the vet costs uh, medicines food uh, materials pee pads you know just everything we go through a lot of supplies uh, uh, on a daily basis uh, so you can act so you basically you're sponsoring that animal that's your your sponsored dog you can keep up with them online uh, so um, hey Nancy and just hey mr. Santana's online 
And um, that covers the sponsor program. Um, this is Chester. Can you get Chester up here? This is Chester. He's one of the four of the Chai's. He's got more of a rat terrier look, but um, see him grab my arm. He's a sweet boy. He actually comes into the bedroom with us. Um, he's the most outgoing, and he started off being the kind of the shot, so it's kind of weird the way these dogs can be. Um, but this is Chester. We think Chester's between 10 and 12. These guys aren't super old, um, but he's the... Uh, He's the tricolor of the group. The rest of them are kind of, you know, the red. But he's 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 gripping my arm. <laughs> so he's a funny boy. So anyway, he's a sweetheart. Um, I can't talk and hold. So anyway, I forgot where I was at. Oh, this one's going back. <laughs> oh, she's back. You're not in the video. You gotta. You can't see yourself. You couldn't go. Anybody know how to go widescreen live? Let me know because I've tried every time and it just me sideways so anyway uh, I've done it outside before but, um, um, so we covered the sponsor program um, we want to talk about um, basically blew up our rescue vehicle we went this was the what third we went through th two or three two two rescue vehicles um, that we just basically run on the ground we have to we were always on the go going somewhere and use something and the last one was a used Sable, Mercury Sable station wagon. And it did really well, you know, but so anyway, it, we're looking to buy a new um, a van this time. So we may be doing a, a fundraiser. So if anybody out there knows, anybody that works in a dealership that may be able to give us a break because we're a nonprofit or anybody has, knows of anyone who has a van that they're looking to get rid of or sell at a good price. Not new, you know, new. Yeah, it doesn't have to be new. We look and you know, we don't want anything new. It's just something to basically go pick up dog food with <laughs> and pick up dogs from the shelter and take them to the vet and all that good stuff. So, um, Our first was Bill and Angel. Hey, there's um, Sharon from with Little Pete. <laughs> it's Sharon King that adopted Little Pete. Oh, yeah. Little Pete, our buddy's online. So anyway, um, moving on a little bit. Uh, oh, we also want to mention that we have an Amazon wish list. Um, you can just, if you go to Amazon, use Amazon Smile, whatever you do, you can just search for the Roland Senior Dog Rescue Gang, and it will come up, and you can um, check out our, our, our Amazon list. We're always in need of cleaning materials, beds. We go through beds like crazy. Um, uh, just different things. Uh, pot um, you name it, we're always looking looking for it. So, um, you want to grab a couple of the other dogs that are out there? Bring them in, so we yep. can. We're going to show you a few of our other guys still here before we finish this up. And um, bring. I want to show you guys um, Pollyanna. Um, Pollyanna came from our awesome friend Michelle rescue at um Pawpaw's rescue in um hilliard she is a we don't know a sooner sooner this and sooner that she's not going to do well holding her up so yeah but you just got to see her face when we first i'm gonna put my i'm just gonna put the camera up. when they first found her she was matted and just covered in hair and um she's just she's stressing out because she doesn't want to be picked up and um, anyway there she is She's a big girl. She's the biggest girl we have up here, and she's due for a trim. Those big eyes. Um, she spends most of her time in her bed in front of the fireplace, and she's going to be going up for adoption here. Um, well, she's available now. I just haven't updated the, the site yet. So she'll be up for adoption, um, and she's a sweetheart. You can set her down. She just hangs out. She gets along great with the other dogs. She's seriously potty trained because she'll go to the door and bark, and she'll bark up the storm the next time. gonna pick up big barney can you pick him up oh he can pick me up let me see him shoulder side oh. oh i need his head this way all right so this is my buddy barney the one i told you about earlier who is going in for surgery on the 28th i think and um you can see his big mass here and um it doesn't seem to be causing him any discomfort um but um we're gonna to try to get it removed. 
And like I say, he has some pretty rancid teeth, but he's a sweet guy. He's huge. This guy is gigantic. Um, and he's a mix of something, but he's a sweetheart. Um, he likes to hang out. Um, he sleeps on the bed with me. He's uh, He was his owner, uh, older fellow had passed away, and that was his buddy. This was, they were buddies, so we try to give him as much love here as we can. So I'm going to set this big chunk down and show you the last of the four. You going to do it? This is... Uh, so this is the last of the four little ones from Bradford. This is Scarlet. And she is a little scared. She doesn't like to be picked up. She usually yikes a little bit um, when you pick her up. But she's getting a little bit better. Like I said, I don't she's know. Very, she's the bravest. Yeah, she is the bravest. She comes out and does whatever she wants to do. So. She climbs up on our bed, sleeps yeah. with us. But... Um, she just doesn't like to be picked up. We think these guys weren't handled that much where they were at. They pretty much were allowed to just go do what they wanted to do. And um, well, there were 16 of them. Yeah, so they probably didn't get a lot of attention. You can tell when they eat, they all eat. Um, one, you put down three, four bowls to separate them. They all go to one bowl and eat. Then they move to the next bowl and eat. Then they move to the next bowl and eat. So um, they were pretty much um, left to do their to do their own thing. Um, there, that's better. You don't want to see me. Look at mom. Um, so I think we've covered everything. We just want to first and well, not first because it's the end of the video. Uh, we want to let all our followers and supporters know that we thank you guys so much. Um, we could not do this without you. We could not provide the the vet care, the meds, uh, food, you know, just things. We try to. These guys are seniors uh, that no one else wants usually, and we just try to make sure that they have the most comfortable dog beds, you know, good toys, good treats, good food, and that we spend as much time with them as we can, which is pretty much all day. It's a 24 seven, um, job. We don't even, um, well, it's not a job, um, uh, cause it's paid, but it's an adventure. <laughs> we, we don't know what day it is most of the time, unless we look at the TV every once in a while. Cause it's just one day it runs into the next day, runs into the next day. And, um, it's all pretty much, you know, it's, it's meds, it's feed, it's wash bowls, it's clean up. It's it just it's a routine that goes on every day. Our vacation is like when we get to run to Walmart for a couple oh, hours. Here, but uh, yeah, she's back up here again. So we just want some attention. So anyway, uh, again, we want to thank you guys so much for following us. You know, share our page. You know, tell a friend. Let everybody know we're doing the best job we can do. Um, it's. Um, Yes, ma'am. Everyone who's given to my fundraiser. Oh, yeah. Speaking. There's a fundraiser on right now for my birthday, which is next week, and we're I'm raising money for the dogs. And I appreciate everyone who's donated so far. And if you can give just a little, $5, whatever, it will help because it all goes to the dogs. Nothing goes anywhere else. Yeah, so I'll get all right. So I think I covered everything. That we want to talk about we just again we just want to appreciate, thank everybody we want to show you some of the some of the new members of the gang a lot of the some of the older members are still here uh, oh i did have i forgot to go back we did have um we've had several dogs get adopted we had um um one of our adopters is online sharon king who adopted little pete who is a sweet little uh rat terrier bubba and we had um uh miss pepper um their other rat terrier is actually still in foster to adopt. I think they're going to be adopting soon. And then we had um, we had the big um, who's basset a, hound. We had uh, yeah, our basset hound was, uh, was basically adopted. And then we had um, oh, who's the perfect dog guy? Oh, Benjamin. Benjamin. And Benjamin is in a awesome foster. He'll he'll probably be foster forever. But you know, um, he's in a great foster home. Um, his mom, his new mom, just has got him to come out of his shell and he's just loving life right now um so um that's about it again we appreciate you guys thank you for for watching i know this was a nice boring part of your saturday night we'll try to do a few more of these um we try to do more live videos but we're just we just sometimes it's hard to find the time and we'll figure out the landscape yeah i'll get this, I'll get this but anyway anyway guys you guys have a great weekend and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.